we're back. Um, bottles saying a couple things. Uh oh. Well, this boulder is obviously well weighted. Just gonna try and see what my moves are. Which ones I have. I have all the basics. Even have Wonder Wing already. Um. Apparently, I can shoot eggs when I'm in that mode. Another video ensues. Stupid Baron Bird. I'm not gonna voice act. Um, should have mentioned that earlier. We started at. Mm, okay, I guess we're maybe a minute into the let's play. Even if we aren't, we're just gonna say we are. Gonna run over some basics with you guys. Just in case you don't know. Um, the catches, the jumps, various jumps, um, the attacks, depending on what you're doing. This is nice because standing still, we have Kazooie's pack instead of Banjo's crunch or last game. I kinda like that upgrade, although it's still pretty useless. C stick, well, C button up gives you the first person view. You have to press it again to get out of that view because those buttons are used for shooting eggs, I believe. Pressing Z and B gives you that move. Pressing, holding Z and doing left C stick gives you, um, Kazooie's talent shot. Using C stick left and right will. Hand the camera. Back on the C stick will um, toggle through different uh, viewing perspectives. Um, pressing forward will in Z mode shoots eggs forward. Pressing back will shoot eggs at your behind. Uh, we'll learn about that more later. There's two kinds of boots. Um, actually, we're taking most of all most of our um, old moves, if not all of them, from the previous game and just starting off with them, which is really nice. So all the rest is learning new moves on top of it. Really nice consistency with the game that you don't have to learn your old moves again. Anyways, the boots. These help you wade through like swamps and stuff. The animation of the boots are a bit better this game than last game. On that talent shot mode, but you move slowly. And there's time around them, and you can't jump high with them either. Shoes. You fly with these babies. Anyways. Oh no. You can press B to cancel at any time. Anyways, these honeycomb pieces. They help. Oh, who's this guy? We haven't met this guy yet. And yet he's introduced us. Uh, well, he hasn't even introduced himself. So. I'm gonna go find the cutscenes. If I remember where it is. Um, anyways, these are eggs. So I can actually show you the animations now. Shooting forwards, shooting backwards. These are gold feathers. I'll show you what they do. And then throw it Basically what they are. Anyways. Let's move on and find other things to do here. Um, I'm not sure if we can find honeycomb pieces in the starting area again. Breaking boxes. Um, I guess we're not going to be finding honeycomb pieces here kind of hoping we would. I really want to... Oh, there's Grunty's death area. Feathers. He explains a bunch of stuff. We don't even know who he is. If I can remember correctly, we meet... We actually meet the guy in the uh, first level of um, Banjo-Tooie. So, for a while, we don't even know what's going on. Oh, here's a flight pad. Get some flying in here. My game is very laggy, so... And it's nice, because you can go into first person while you're flying, and you can actually shoot later on. I don't think I'll be able to hit this enemy with the beak bomb, but we'll try. Beak bomb is done by pressing B, as you can see. You can go pretty far with it. Can't go all the way up to the tower, unfortunately. We're just gonna have a little fun here, trying to hit this guy. Nail them. Anyways, I think that's the extent of uh, what we can do out here. I know you can go into Grunty's lair, but I don't think there's much in here. It's kind of beaten down for no apparent reason. Anyways, let's get out of this. 
I'm gonna see if there's anything I can do in here right away. Oh, Cheeto. This guy gave us cheats in the previous game. If I find these, I will be using them. Because they are very important to me, because... More eggs, more life and everything... Is always better. The beauty of this game, however... Um, well, not however, but... Beauty of this game... Different types of eggs. One of the better ideas... One, well... I don't think it's the best new concept they came up with. But it was r really nice addition to the game. So anyways. We're just gonna... Get on with the first boss fight. And then after that, we will, uh... Finish this edition of Let's Play. nice it tells us wherever we are and we do do a lot of world hopping oh and there's actually a boss in every level which is nice because the previous game didn't really have that we get a title and a subtitle It's nice, because Colungo is a consistent character through, through all three games, and, um, I mean, the story in the third game is so poor and so irrelevant, and doesn't fit with the Banjo world, but, I mean, there's so many inconsistencies with the third game that's just ridiculous. And there's another game that takes place in between Banjo-Kazooie and Banjo-Tooie. It might be made by Rare, it might not. Um, forget. But it's really, f it's a it's a game for a Game Boy Advance called um, Grunty's Revenge. You go back in time because Grunty wants to split up Baron Bird before they even like started hanging out. But um, besides the point, we're fighting Klungo here. I believe he has three different types of potions. This one is the Invisibility Potion. Kind of like Super Smash Brothers, he'll like glitch in and out of it. Oh, and I have this thing on my laptop where it likes to, uh, uh, go into a s black screen, so you, not sure if you saw that or not, but I couldn't play for, like, half a second. Anyways, easy boss fight. I'm excited for when this comes out for um, Xbox Live. I'm buying it and playing it. There's no doubt about it. But still, emulators are nice because you can play old games all over again. I might even be able to get a GameCube emulator on my uh, new computer. I'll have to check it out and see. Once I get the new computer, that is. I don't actually have it. Anyways. Let's uh, pause this. Make a safe state. And I'll see you next time.